Decades after embracing the nurturing method, the Zylarians faced a new challenge. Their revitalized planets thrived, but a neighboring race, the Kryll, weren't happy. The Kryll, hulking insectivores, relied on the husks left behind by the Zylarians, using them as breeding grounds for their monstrous exoskeletal young. The first sign of trouble came from a distant star system. A Zylarian observation post reported an entire Kryll fleet converging on a burgeoning biosphere. The collective, now a council of Zylarian minds rather than a singular intelligence, held an emergency session. We cannot stand by and watch them destroy what we've nurtured, Zylo, now a respected elder, boomed his crystalline voice. But open conflict is folly, Anya, his ever-pragmatic counterpart, countered. The Kryll are formidable warriors. A younger Zylarian named Syra, imbued with a newfound appreciation for life, spoke up. Perhaps there's another way. We could offer them a new source of sustenance, a sustainable alternative. The idea was met with skepticism. The Kryll were known for their brutality, not negotiation. Yet, with no other options, the collective decided to try. Syra, along with a team of Zylarian diplomats, embarked on a perilous journey to the Kryll homeworld, a desolate wasteland ravaged by their own extractive practices. The Kryll greeted them with suspicion. Their leader, a colossal being with mandibles dripping venom, scoffed at the Zylarian offer. We have no need for your fancy tricks. We take what we need. Syra, channeling Zylo's newfound empathy, projected images of the revitalized planets, teeming with life. She explained the concept of bioresonance chambers, devices that could harvest energy from a planet's natural bioluminescence without harming the ecosystem. The Kryll leader was intrigued. He saw the potential for a future where they wouldn't have to destroy to survive. Negotiations were long and tense, but ultimately, a treaty was formed. The Zylarians would help the Kryll set up bioresonance chambers on their own world and a few designated planets, ensuring a sustainable future for both races. News of the Zylarian Kryll treaty spread like wildfire. Other races, once wary of the Zylarians, saw the potential for cooperation. The galaxy began to shift from a paradigm of domination to one of symbiosis. The Zylarians, once feared as harvesters, became beacons of a new way, a testament to the transformative power of understanding in the interconnectedness of all life. Yet, whispers of dissent arose within the Kryll ranks. A radical faction, clinging to the old ways, plotted to overthrow the treaty. The fragile peace was threatened, and the Zylarians, along with their newfound allies, would have to face a new challenge protecting the future they had so painstakingly cultivated.